Yes, finally, finally, finally. So, of course, I'm back with really quick, of course, of course, of course, Pogger. All right. You're the bad video. So, yeah, of course, we got some new news. We got a lot of new stuff here. So, I'm going to go over it really fast. Go over craziness. You know I am. Let's freaking get it, gamers. Woo! But, yeah, of course, we got a lot of new stuff from the um, Duncan Now slash JP Live stream. It's going to combine to both in one video because if I do it separately, there's nothing really that looks for JP. We got a couple wording new stuff from Goresh. I know I'm, right now I see Aaron watching the stream that Trip did this morning. It was him, Goresh, Ignit, pretty much some of the 5 9 crew on pretty much on there. Not a full part of that gaming thing, but it was just some stuff here and there, though. But yeah, just to sprinkle some stuff up here and there. But yeah, we got a lot of new news, a lot of new stuff. It's craziness right now. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it because I know you guys to like, get up just some more into it. Though. What? So he gets started, of course. We're just gonna get six stones for both Global and JP. Uh, my time is recording there, not released, and I'm hopefully I can upload this video before then. Um, they're not released for both Global and JP yet, though. Of course, JP had a live stream, and then Global and JP. Again, they're both gonna get six stones. Those are really good, though, of course. Uh, we have this is a cooler for JP and Global. Um, that's a new hashtag Twitter right there. <laughs> yeah, this is cooler. I like it. It's a cooler being slammed or something. You don't get it that easy somewhere. So, yeah. <laughs> Some ice or something about cooler there. A signed artwork, of course, is only for JP players because you have to have a JP mailing address. Like the fifth year, I was signed artwork and just, you know, Carter was signed artwork and everything. This is only JP. You had to have a JP mailing address. Again, a JP mailing address. All you gotta have. That's simple and that's easy. Uh, new titles for the new title for the, um, what do you call it? For the, um, this is for the new event that just came out. The new, the new event that just came out. Literally just came out for blah blah blah. The image are somewhere up here, but um, it was like you can only use like I think like units from the movie or like any of the quick or on the same unit. It's a new difficult event. You get a new title for that. For the that. It literally just came out when the banners dropped though. You yeah, actually have to you probably use the units again. It's like legends. You gotta have to use the new unit for the new content though. So it's pretty much that though. Um, you gotta use Goku or Cooler or anybody from that. Um. I gave it from the clue movie, I think. Again, it just has to be specific. The game will probably tell you and everything. It's, it's already, like, again, it's really just went wild, so. Don't need to worry about your stuff out about that, though. Again, just the title, nothing crazy. Uh, Super Mega, like, Super Mega Omega title around the world. I've finally done it. The perfect batch of fries. Now to taste. Here we go. Uh, eighth year, got some good stuff. Gretch also made this, um, said this as well. It's probably not 100% confirmed, but he said, of course, it's gonna be like the little as like a pro fans can basically greet and meet and greet and stuff like that, of course, during the eighth year, only in Japan, though, right now. As for the eighth year, as fans meet on um, meeting, so basically, um, all fans are gonna basically meet up, I guess, like ask questions to play like Doki players in Japan only right now, so yeah, again, Global could get this, so I feel like Global could get this easily because you know, Twitch gone, little exclusive um, comms and things like that, because in the US over here where I live, we have tons of those, like almost not every week, but. Since COVID came up, but since COVID is pretty much not down out the water because we know it's not over yet though. But since it's um I'm trying to think of it right now. Since um <clears throat> I can't think of it right now. Since we're uh, it's not going away, it's kind of breezing off a little bit. Hopefully I don't say anything to jinx that maybe. Okay, I think I think, I think I'm good. Think I'm good. But yeah. Um, this will basically, again, fans, um, basically a fan meetup, though, pretty much for Doken, for the 8th year, you can probably ask questions, do this, do that. But also, on the other hand, um, Gresh also did mention that during the 8th year, which, again, is already confirmed at this point, we are going to have units that basically have not been in a Doken Fest at all, so... No Super Saiyan 3, probably not, maybe Super Saiyan 3 Goku? Uh, probably not Super Saiyan 3 Goku, maybe not, not Vegeta Blue, just, again, it's just, oh, uh, any, not any unit, but it's basically going to be a unit that we have never seen before in Doken, or like, in Doken, period, I believe, or just, we yeah, have not seen before, for the 8th year, and, and that is ugly, because we were getting, your team was already leaked right here, it makes sense, because, again, we're almost in January, pretty much, what, 4 months, 5 months, yeah, September, October, November, December, the January, what, 5, 4 months away? There we go, we're already eighth year, we are getting eighth year leaks as early as this right now, so yeah, that's I like that. That's really crazy and insane though, so yeah. What? What else is on here? Um This is cool, it's a hashtag for global, uh stones for global, um yeah, post by by that yeah, we're gonna easily reach that global goes crazy. I'll get an easy info for Goku and Frieza. They're, they're okay, they're not too crazy though. Um because Goku Lewis, Go Pierce, Hands, or Nimbus Saga Key 3, everything go 170, not bad. Super attack effect with immense damage. Um, 
Raise and ra damage, damage raises attack defense up by 30% for one turn. Allies attack defense up by 30% for one turn. Passive, key to attack defense was 150. And another attack defense of 30%. Each attack received up to max of 59%. Trust one condition. Okay, this is not bad. It's decent. I guess pretty much every Goku. I feel like it could have been a little bit more, but this is decent. It's not. It's nothing gravy. Uh, super attack effect when it transforms. It raises its defense. Causes immense damage. Okay, I thought I heard. I, I know I'm hearing stuff also. I'm going crazy. Raises defense up. Causes immense damage to enemy. And um, lowers attack and defense. I like that. I like this Goku. He seems a little bit better. Passive attack defense. No, key 3. Attack defense up. 150 plus additional um ad additional defense of 59% next to me nothing back there <coughs> HP 70% 70% 77% or less plus an additional attack plus 59% for the rest of the battle after receiving an attack medium teams are growing against all attacks guard activated against all attacks and high chance this is made as permanent uh, okay never mind okay um avoiding a crit uh, for four turns after guard is activated okay he seems decent he seems a lot better it's now when he goes to his furry mode now. Meteor Smash. What, what, his new EZA effects. His meet, the first one, of course, is Meteor Smash, immense damage. The second one is Super Meteor Smash. They, they have, it, 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 me, super Mega Ultra Omega Chad. Um, you know, <laughs> Omega Craziness. Ah! Here, check my pants. No, no, no. Um, look at this guy. Great is his um, attack up um, temporarily and causes immense damage to him. Not bad. Um, passive changes AGO to SDR and randomly changes key spheres um, of certain type to AGO, SDR, and slowly to Rango. That's good. Okay, Goku's really better though. It ain't way better. Honestly, though, I think he's actually really, really good now. After all the slander, I'm finally done. He seems really good. Again, seems again. Seems really, really good. I got excited about the unit. Of course, on the Frieza, we'll power category key 4, everything to 150, or extreme SDR types key 4, everything to 100%. Super attack effect, raise attack defensive for one turn, never cost damage to enemy, yeah, while sacrifice about some health. I think he did three or four before? I don't know. His ultra super attack, where there is attack up and for one turn, and make a cost of damage to enemy. His passive, oh boy, Eric got long passive. Uh, I remember he first came out, I think he came out, he actually came out legit. My internet went out, this was 2019, I literally just graduated high school, I was eating uh, my graduation dinner, I had breakfast that day. Um, and he literally like, got leaked out, and I was just like, what? It's like, I can't even graduate, and I was just so tired after that, uh, I remember this day, I was so tired and drained out. I, the internet was already out for like a week, and I was just so tired and everything, it just destroyed my brain. What? That doesn't even make- Uh, key four attack defense up, um, once every close additional defense up, but we can make a super attack, and effective against all types of this if doing quarter super attack. Okay, this passive does change right here. This is his cool changing passive when he, when he first came out. Kind of cool. I still like it. It's still unique. Plus, additional attack defense up key to 40%, HP is 80% or less. This is the same thing. It does the same thing when HP is 60% or less. It forms a crit when HP is 40% or less. It's able to attack enemies action going for once. What, yeah, what only one, only within the turn of the HP is 40% or less while oh, attacking um, only once. Okay. Not bad. He's de again, a little bit updated from what he pretty much did before. But he's not that bad either. He's okay. Um, it does use Carnival. Um, you do Legendary Summon Carnival pretty much. Part 1 Part 2 will have one. Um, then I think it goes to full explanation down here pretty much. Being like, you can trade other units to put in your Carnival. You can use your Carnival coins for other units to get more Carnival coins pretty much. Uh, moving onward and everything. So yeah, coins can be, um, you can get from summoning events that could be um, in that Carnival. And their name will become Carnival Coins. So it seems like you can like go to like you have like you have like I like LR you have Goku Rainbow or whatever. Um the LR um uh, the LR end one. Um you have him rainbowed. And the LR um H S L R S T R one based on um US on. For example, if you have him rainbowed and you um you wanna use them, I guess like use them like for a coin fodder, you can pretty much do that. Transfer those coins that make those units into basically um Carnival coins. It seems like you say that there. You have to collect a certain number of them, be able to exchange them, and you have in the past carnival um, feature characters who are featured in the ongoing some events. So it seems like, you know, if they're in the summoning banner, if they're the feature, maybe you can trade and get more units like that. And you could pull half those, all those units anyway at this point though, so yeah. Um, you able to exchange it from the past? Yeah, I did already. Um, you can check the list of the characters who you can recruit from the Duck Fest coins at the bubble shop. So basically, I guess if you can train Duck Fest, you can throw two coins, uh, two coins. 
Yeah, this is basically just going over it. Like, you're basically, you have the new character, then you have the seven. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you got seven featured. LR, which I like this format. This is way better than that. Let's try some of the coins. Um, you basically, you can trade in, like, if it's feature, like, all these are feature. You can trade them in and get coins. Um, turn, like, your, those Dokkafest, you know, coins to teal coins. For units, pretty much. Like, guild goes to all Dokkafest, I guess, turn them into teal coins. And then you can do something here for all your feature units and stuff. Yeah, amazing feature units. <laughs> yeah. They're, I mean, they're, they're not bad. You're de you're pretty okay at your EZA. Uh, you need EZA. You need one. You're you're good. You're solid. You definitely do need one, but you're still viable-ish. Not crazy, but you're decent. Yeah, of course, like I said, like a normal coin banner. Like, for example, if you try to go into the coin shop, like, oh yeah, I want to buy Goku. You cannot buy him. You, think you cannot buy the new character. You can only buy the old character for the coins. And the other game character is featured pretty much. And yes, Sar, even as a Zard LR here. I like this format, though. I'll come like it there. Yeah, it goes for the stuff in Carnival, stuff I pretty much said about right there. A discount, yeah, we three, by the way, get one free. Uh, additional, there's some discounts lined up, that's more amazing than usual. Um, since the Carnival feature character, you know, the Carnival is a new character, yeah, you never going to pop the shop pretty much, so you can't get Goku, you can only get these guys. But again, not that, you really don't need to get any of these guys, don't waste your points on them. Though, again, we're gonna get more carnival use in the future. We're gonna get probably better ones in the future. I got part two's gonna do the same thing as well, again, like I said. Um, but yeah. But yeah, though, I like that, though. I like the carnival. I'm starting to get used to it more and more and more. The more I get used to it, the more I like it. Because again, it's not gonna rep try to replace the LR. Um, because I've been looking like, oh, the hybrid, they're replacing the LRs. Um, yellow coin banner. No, yellow coin banners are still gonna exist. It's just gonna be three featured. I think seven featured. We're both going JP, but in the future. But for part two, we're gonna get some carnival. It's gonna be like a regular duck cast for part two. Then we're gonna get another summon carnival. Again, it could be meta cooler, meta cooler core, whatever. Because again, it's obvious. It's already pretty much not confirmed, but kind of confirmed. Because they mentioned in the JB live stream, they also mentioned that. Um, basically, is it, they like it, they're like it's obvious. Part two is gonna be much with meta cooler. They pretty much kind of said it already there. They can then know, but yeah. They can like see right, pretty much like all we use for you know the new tail, you know tail dragon stone and stuff like that. Though of course. But yeah, um, you could also trade these guys for Dragon Shunner, so they have some stuff like that, of course. But we'll do Uh, yeah, of course, yeah, some of the Carnival will be held simultaneously. Pretty much, they'll be held at the same time. Again, Part 2 is going to have a Dr. Fest and another Summer Carnival. A lot of people are saying save, move forward. Again, I already did a full breakdown for all this stuff already in other videos. It's just crazy just going back and forth. Like, again, again, Part 2 could be really good. We don't know yet. Time is recording. And again, we don't... It is all... We don't even know where we're going to have it. Day three. The cold is unbearable. For the first time in my life, I actually considered wearing pants. Desperate times indeed. Hey, yeah, we don't even know what's gonna be. Like, I ah, like this is why I like this, cause we know nothing, no leaks, no nothing. I guess it's not you know, JP messing up data download day, data downloading everything. But leaks a little from the media, we don't even know what's gonna go on and happen though, so yeah. Yeah, of course, yeah, basically, yeah, talk about, like, you know, cool is a new Dark Fest unit, LR, and Goku as well, and part two's gonna be the same thing. Part one, this could be, like, Meta Cooler, or even, like, Goku and Vegeta, like, five all the Meta Coolers, and this could be Meta Cooler Core. Like, Meta Cooler, Meta Coolers. Again, this is pretty much putting this up there pretty much, though, so, yeah. yeah. Part one will have one, not only part one, yeah, part two will have one pretty much. Um, yeah, keep informed via social media campaigns and everything, so stay tuned. It's pretty much it for the Doka now. Again, we got a lot of new stuff in here. Set 8 year meetup, well, 10 to 8 year units. We have no idea what they're gonna be. Part 2 Carnival, they're going over the Carnival, explaining everything. Utterliness, craziness, but yeah, see you guys later, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Great. Oh, okay. Get on the show. Stay safe, watch and couple of all of you. We're out and we're master. Until people who are ready to, once again, go outside to grab some couple of instructions from the Discord, so there's every freaking bar in the universe. Blah, 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 blah. So we got to think about all these people, though. Of course, like if you hate it, again, very simple, very easy um, video. Sorry if I went too fast, because I always go fast. You guys are like, Hyper, you're going too fast. Oh my god, please stop my pain, my back. But yeah, you guys are fine. You guys are fine. You can stick with me. You guys are fine. <laughs> but yeah, getting anywhere though, for sure, though. Um, but yeah, you gotta get the um, other videos ready for the day, though, and stuff like that. So yeah, but you guys enjoy your day and stuff like that. See you guys later. Okay, though. So. Fine, okay, uh, let's see.